setting life goals and uh, setting goals and objectives, achieving goals in life. I'm going to share a principle with from the Course in Miracles that helps us more clearly understand why setting goals is important and the use of time for living our life of purpose or our true free will, we may say. You know, reaching our goals, why you're not setting and achieving goals and living a life of purpose and passion. Have you ever questioned that? Maybe you're behind on reaching your goals. Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me in another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. You know, setting and achieving goals has already been charted out for you. Yes, things are being arranged right now if you're working on your goals so that you will achieve your goals. As long as they're aligned to your true free will, which is your life of purpose and passion. and But you have to start taking action steps for this to be reached, for your goals to be reached. By the way, as you're listening to me in the description area down below is a wonderful access link to a wonderful video is what I mean. The access link to a wonderful video. The link is called The Power Within You and it's a strong, powerful video on how successful people reach their goals, the things that they actually do. So I hope you'll take a look at that. But with setting and achieving goals, you can tell yourself that you are the bringer of salvation, we could say, and therefore have a life of purpose and passion in this world of bringing light to darkness. Think of it that way. The difficulty in setting life goals for me has been my worry of not having enough time, although time has saved me, which I'll explain in a minute. Have you ever felt like you might be running out of time to achieve your life of purpose? By the way, you can read more at my blog on this where I've written a detailed article about life without limits is an idea opening your mind to finding success via your natural gifts within you. And the link to that detailed article is also in the description area down below as well. But what is your life purpose? Well, you know, for me, now I'm able to consider how my inner divinity, my inner divine self, which is the Holy Spirit in my mind, how the Holy Spirit will readjust time in order to assist me in achieving my goals, in reaching my dreams. I mean my passion and life purpose, just like yours too as well. While we're here in the dream of time, space, and material form, together with all others, I'm going to read a principle from The Course in Miracles, this raggedy old version. For those of you that know me, this is how time has saved me. Because of a thing called time is how I years ago ran into The Course in Miracles, and now it's become my life passion. And for those of you that want to know more about that, I detail the entire story in my first book of the series, The Master of Everything. But the Course in Miracles teaches us that, that you know there must be an adjustment of time for the miracle of past error to be turned into knowledge. And I'm going to repeat that. There must be an adjustment in time for the miracle of past error to be turned into knowledge. Now, what the Course in Miracles is trying to teach us there is that, you see, for me to achieve my life purpose by the use of time, someone else must first be setting life goals for themselves by the use of time to achieve their life purpose and so on. Therefore, what I mean is, what now does time mean when you are concerned with setting goals and achieving your dreams, other than for defeating your own fears and allowing yourself to go beyond them? You see, beyond your fears is where true reality holds your holiness, which is your passion in life, just as it holds mine. I hope this hit home for you. I hope it pointed you in the right direction, at least if you feel that you're behind on your dreams and your goals. By the way, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would just love to have you as a subscriber of my YouTube channel. And as always, please begin thinking about your own life and your inner beauty and that you really need to start reflecting that to the material world, just making your life situation wonderful. Until next time, God bless.